this is november 2020 let's see what's going on so okay so we're having some problems okay we're having problems and this could be at home or this could be dealing with your past but this is about your relationship here um but we do have the five of cups in reverse as well and the strength card so you're having a hard time healing here or you're having a hard time getting through this it almost feels like this romance or this love affair something about it is it's pretty much going not so good not so good and especially it seems like you guys could be living together as well and it's just a lot of problems going on. This romance, love affair, or whatever you guys had going on here. It's a lot of fun that you guys were having with each other. But it, it's it's almost like there's some issues. It's causing, like, it's almost like you guys are about, like, you kind of called it quits in a way. But this wasn't a relationship. This is more of like a, it could have been a relationship, you know, especially from, I feel like, on your end. Because you communicated about that, you know, how much you really loved this person being around and being just home with you or they made you feel like home but it's just something's not working out because you see that clearly you know you are serious about things but they, you know you clearly know the games that they have and the flaws that they have that they need to work on um and then with the nine of, nine of pentacles here so you try to help this person you try to study with this person because you really see the value in this person but it seems like and you know it's not really you know with the sun in reverse it's not really i don't know something's just not working something, not, something is not connected like this is not deeper this is not deep or it needs to be deeper than sex because why is it the only time you connect is during sex or in um intimacy so or physical attraction or and all that but i think it's like you see more than that or you want more than that. And you're content with trying to work on that with them as well as working on yourself. You're very about healing anyway. So you're just really there to see it through all. Because you see what the bigger picture is. You definitely see what the bigger picture is. You see what they can be. You see people's potential and you know what they can be. And you know what they could be with you. And it's not in a selfish intent. But it's almost like you know what you bring to the table. And that you can make life better. And then we got the two of swords. So you're communicating that, you know, we can do this together. We can make money together. We can really be on some road dog ride or die thing together. And that's actually working well that you are telling them because, you know, you don't just talk a good game. You actually have a good game. And you just really are satisfied with the thought of them being with you. And you don't think that they, um, you don't think that anyone deserves them like you do. You know how you can treat them and you know that you treat them right because you have treat, treated them right. Even though this is technically not more than sex, let's be real. Some of the things you have been doing is almost like a relationship, right? So it's like, what do we kind of, what are we wasting more time for? But, you know, I'm not going to rush you, but, you know, I'm going to be real with you. You know, I have feelings, definitely more feelings than that for you. I know this is, wasn't supposed to be more than it was, but you're just so, such a good person. It seems like you're the one I can really take you know, my step with, my life with. I really could see this. Why can't we make something out of this and, and make something beautiful? It's, it's almost like it's about art to you. And that this relationship or this bond is art. And that really deep down inside, you really understand that. And I feel like they feel like that about you too, in a sense. They're starting over time to gain that and really understand that. But this person that you're dealing with also has trust issues. Like, it's almost like, you can tell they're more confident outside of a relationship than in a relationship just because do what they dealt with. But you're letting them know that you're not going to do them like like their past. You know, like I said, you can make this more than what it is and make something beautiful because I really have a good heart and I can really give you, give you the world is what you're saying to that, you know, that person that you're messing with. Now, we do have the Eight of Wands here, too, and that revolves around this eighth house energy that revolves around um, joint finances, sex, taboo, uh, all that stuff. And I'm feeling like... You know, when it does come together, and for some of you, this is, excuse me, this is not the first time you have messed around with this person. Um, they feel like home, but are, are ready to join finances together. Um, but you are definitely ready to join this partnership, and you communicate that, and it seems like they communicate this back to you. You're definitely liking the answers, though. <laughs> you're definitely liking the answers, though. It's just like, you know, you're just like, you're, you 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 know you two have to just juggle finances a little bit better here. Or a lot more better as well. So you're definitely good with that. And you, you definitely, 
it's just working this out now sometimes like i said this person is communicating back with you you're liking it they still got their defense up as well so you know they're still like you know they hear everything you're saying but uh they still got their guard up and you know that you know it's, it's cool you know no rush no rush but now you see where their heart is at and where we can really go from here and for the ones that did call it quits this is you working this back out it's just um like I said, we're just going downhill and almost like it's almost like this relationship or this bond or this, you know, whatever you want to call it was nearing its end. But it doesn't mean something new couldn't have or cannot or could have not begin. So it's, it's almost like you reared them back around. You reared this person back around. So um, we're coming back into that five of pentacles, too. So that's back into the creativity, the fun zone, the romance, the love affair. You guys work back on that. It's building back, back, back on that. But you're trying to make sure, though, you're, you're trying to make sure you don't think, hey, are we, are we going back the same route again? You know, I don't want to, just in case, I don't want us to be back on romance and fun and we're having fun and we might juggle a few finances together. But are we actually really going to, instead of playing house, are we going to live house, you know? So then that is crazy. And then the two of wands come up again. So now we're back to the cash and the property. So this could be a recurring problem too as well. That cash and property is a problem. Finances is a problem. Um, you could also be taking care of kids at home as well. You could have kids involved with that. Fifth house also does involve kids. So this could be that you have enough for the kids or someone's like juggling more than the other for the kids. It's a lot going back and forth here, but it deals with working as well. It deals with work as well. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So with that Ten of Pentacles energy, that is you working ambition, ambitions and goals. So it's about you two. You see, so that's when it just goes kind of, okay, and then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you can get those joint finances together when it starts back up blooming with this um, romance and this love affair. And you're talking about bringing this into a relationship. But... Um, for this to really work, it's going to, you, you're going to have to really get this finance with them down pat. Because if these finances aren't down pat, it's almost like you're wasting time because that's what causes the home to stretch. You both feel like home to each other or you both do live at home with, with each other. But um, clear as day, you see the problems that you're going to keep running into, which is money and finances. So you can have fun all day and have this romance and love affair and lust all day. But, you know, if, you know, you guys want to get in a relationship and we're talking about it, you know, it's all about, it's just the, this is all it is. You just have to get on your money and they have to get on their money. It feels like you're, honestly, it feels like more you're on your money than they are. Because you tend to typically will spend more. So, um, just be careful of taking too much of a role, even though you're liking what you're hearing and stuff let's let's let the actions roll don't let you work too hard and you know this person you're messing with is not working hard enough you know because they're being defensive or whatever so either we got to make sure they're down foolproof or you're not you know but it seems like you you had this loop around maybe once or this is your first time or you know this is not too unfamiliar this is not too unfamiliar enter the chamber enter the chamber of healing a spiritual gift of healing is coming to you now be open without expectation or preconceived notions and allow the healing energy to help you find the best solution for any situation that does not appear to be as it should be. Expect your miracle. So it's just really working towards this. Definitely something that can definitely happen. And especially with this Eight of Pentacles and you two are back on this game. So you two can get on, like I said, you two can get on the same page, especially when it comes to the kids taking care of house affairs but when it comes to taking care of, of, of each other or uh pleasing each other in ways of form of affection and gifts especially when it comes to like at least bringing home some kind of uh more stability wise it just seems like that's the focus is really what ties it all together you can have all of this but we're not stable and especially fi financially you know cartouche Choose to release that which would lower your vibration into fear. Come back to love. Stay true to yourself and you shall inspire others to think or speak more positively when they are around you. Invoking the power of speech and words for your strength, protection, and spiritual growth will work effectively for you. So, you know, like I said, you just got to put them to the test. This is either, you know, are you going to keep dealing with this? Getting on the same page only when there's an emergency or are you going to get on the same page completely, you know? Don't let this romance thing start back up and you don't get a relationship out of this because you're a relationship type of person. So 
you know, it's not so much you can hold back. So, uh, even though you might have laid down and had kids together, it's like some reason a relationship commitment is just not something that this person could be trying to do as well. They only can commit sometimes when it comes to money, but as a whole, as a supporter, a provider, all that, they're not doing so well in that, and they, they lack in that, and they resist with that, and they don't really see anything too much wrong with it sometimes, or a lot of times. So definitely that so don't always like i said don't overtake and try to overdo when you're playing your part correctly don't overdo your part for someone who's not completely doing their whole part so there's romance is fun and fine and everything but when it comes to home base it's gotta get real you know <laughs> so but yeah uh virgo hope you enjoyed uh your november 2020 don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want a personal reading, check me out, shadestarot.com, shadestarot everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, and all that good stuff. So. Um.